If you've spent any time around a police officer or members of the military, you have undoubtedly heard the analogy of the sheepdog. I'm not sure if everybody has heard the analogy or is familiar where it came from, but this analogy was created by a man named Lieutenant Colonel Dave Grossman. Colonel Grossman was a guy who taught, I believe, at West Point and then gave a series of lectures on the psychology of using lethal force. And he came up with this analogy, and the analogy at its most basic is that society is made up of three kinds of people. You have sheep, who are your everyday person who's just trying to live their life. You have the wolf, who's the person who's the criminal or the bad guy that's preying on the sheep. And then you have the sheepdog. Those are the people who step up and protect the flock from the wolves or from the people who are trying to attack it. Today, I'm going to do something a little bit different. Some people have told me in the past that they would listen to me if I read the dictionary. Well, today we're going to put that to the test because I have a book I actually bought for my kids. It's written by David Grossman. It's called Sheepdogs, Meet Our Nation's Warriors. So I'm going to read that book. It's going to tell you all about the sheepdog analogy. And um, I don't know. I hope you enjoy. So thanks for hanging out. Enjoy the rest of the video. I'll see you guys soon. Sheepdogs, Meet Our Nation's Warriors, by Stephanie Rogish and Lieutenant Colonel Dave Grossman, illustrated by Joey Carwell. Angel of the Night Fear not the night, fear that which walks in the night, and I am that which walks in the night. But only evil need fear me, and gentle souls sleep safe in their beds, because I am Walk the night. Carpe noctum. There are many kinds of sheep. Black ones, white ones, some with horns and others without. Regardless of what they look like, sheep are kind and gentle and only hurt each other by accident. They go about their day playing or working together. Most of the time the flock is happy, quiet, and calm. That is, until the wolf shows up. The wolf is not nice. Sure, he might seem friendly at first, but this is only to get the flock to trust him. If the sheep allow the wolf to get too close, they could be in danger. Wolves are predators and will feed off the flock. They might take things from the sheep or even hurt the sheep and their lambs. They have a tendency to be violent, but above all, they don't care about others. Since sheep are so kind and gentle, they need to be protected from the wolf. Who is brave enough to help the sheep? The sheepdogs, of course. Sheepdogs are strong and brave. They value each member of the flock. When they were young, some sheepdogs thought there was something wrong with them. These young pups thought they would grow in to be wolves. The difference was, these pups knew in their hearts they would never harm the lambs. It was a special day when they realized they were sheepdogs. It's like the story of the ugly duckling who grew up to be a beautiful swan. It takes a predator to catch a predator. So the sheepdogs spend a lifetime practicing their skills and their use of force. They nurture their desire to protect and guard the innocent. Sheep like to live their lives peacefully. They are happiest when they feel safe. The sheepdogs live amongst the flop. They shop at the same stores, go to church together, and go to the same movie theaters. Sometimes, sheep are frightened by the sheepdogs. This is because the sheepdogs look a little bit like the wolves, with their fur, their sharp teeth, and their watchful eyes. This reminds the sheep that the wolves could be nearby and ready to harm them. They worry about the sheepdog, and they're not sure they want him around. But when do they change their mind? When the wolf comes. Then the whole flock 
tries to hide behind the closest sheepdog. When the wolf is in trouble and feels desperate to get away, he tries to hide behind the sheep or even the lamb. This coward will use the innocent as a shield because he doesn't care for their safety. But sheepdogs are shields for the lambs. They will stand in front of the little ones, protecting and shielding them with their own bodies. Sheepdogs spend a lot of their time looking for the wolves. A wolf could be just across town or perhaps in the sheep's own neighborhood. A good sheepdog will check behind every tree and down all the dark streets. The sheepdog brings the light to the dark places where others fear to go. Since it takes time and patience to catch a crafty wolf, that sheepdog might not be home in time for supper, or maybe he'll miss his pup's soccer game once in a while. Some wolf packs live far away. They spend their time planning and practicing on how to harm flocks of sheep. They are always looking for a way to harm unsuspecting innocent sheep. Large groups of sheepdogs will go out and hunt these wolves in distant lands. These brave sheepdogs will go into the wolf's den just to keep them from coming near their precious flock. The bravest are surely those who have the clearest vision of what is before them, glory and danger alike, yet notwithstanding go out to meet it. When this happens, sheepdogs may be gone for a very long time. They will miss their pups' birthdays, school plays, and even holidays. Wolves do not like it when sheepdogs get close to them and stop them from their mischief. They become angry and attack the sheepdog. A tough sheepdog expects this and is ready for a fight. The wolf lives to destroy. The sheepdog lives to protect. The wolf might say, might makes right. But the sheepdog says, might alone is not strength, and compassion is not a weakness. Did you know some sheepdogs don't even wear a uniform? They can be moms and dads, teachers, or regular folk at regular jobs. They are prepared to confront the wolf and protect those around them. Their loved ones may not even know they are sheepdogs until the moment of truth. When the wolf attacks, these special sheepdogs stand ready with the skills and courage of the uniform sheepdogs. Sheep will die to protect the ones they love. Only a sheepdog loves enough to die for other people's loved ones. Sheepdogs will die for people they don't even know. But when a sheepdog dies while protecting the innocent, that does not make him or, him or her a hero. They are heroes because they walk out of their doors every single day, prepared to lay down their lives for the flock. Being a hero, a true sheepdog, is not a flash of courage. It's a lifetime of sacrifice. Sometimes, the ultimate love is not to sacrifice your life, but to live a life of sacrifice. Their job is dangerous and on most days, thankless. But still, the sheepdogs go out each day and do their job to the utmost of their ability, armed with love. They do this because they know if no one did, our society could not exist. In nature, a sheep is born a sheep, a wolf is born a wolf, and a sheepdog is born a sheepdog. That's the way they are born and they can never change. Wolves are not bad and most dogs cannot save the day. They are just animals 
who play an important role in the balance of nature. People are different. People can make a decision to be a sheepdog, a wolf, or a sheep. You can decide what you want to be. Do you have what it takes to be a sheepdog?